Hello and welcome to my channel Green Mind Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for April the 22nd, 2021. So it's a reading for the collective and it's going to affect all of you differently. Uh, so in terms of strength and intensity and areas of your life. But this is a general reading. So let's see what energy is coming through for April the 22nd. I hope you're having a good autumn or a good spring wherever you are. The Eight of Cups. So, okay. The King of Pentacles. Here comes Taurus again. Gosh, he's made his presence known in all sorts of different ways. The Ace of Wands. Beautiful. So sitting right next to that Aries energy. The Emperor. Okay. All right. Interesting. So they're working very cl closely together, the Aries and the Taurus energy. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so uh, this is very much an assessing energy. It's an energy of that real Taurus and Aries energy are working together with this Ace of Wands to bring this new thing that you really, really want in. But you, in order to do that, really need to take a good look at it, how it's going to work and what it is you need to let go of because that Ace of Cups is there. This is ultimately looking at your fulfillment on a bigger level. What is actually fulfilling you? This Ace of Wands, what fulfillment is it bringing in? How is it going to be implemented? How is it going to be successful? Where are you getting the money? How are you going to make it a concrete reality? Surrounded by the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, they're the two heads of business. They're the two that are going to make this a concrete reality. They're the two that are going to really bring this in and make it successful. So... You know, there's this very, very powerful energy coming in with this Ace of Wands today. So it's, a, you know, if you've got a goal or a desire or something you truly, truly want that you're working on, there's a lot, a lot of powerful energy coming in around that. Now, we have the Seven and the Eight of Cups. So it really is saying, look, there are a lot of options there are a lot and some of them are good, some of them aren't. So things might be opening up in terms of it. Um, possibilities might be opening up, which means more choices. So it is a sense of taking a real concrete look at where you're going to uh, take your next step because I feel like with the Ace of Cups, it's very much saying it's all about the next steps. I mean the Eight of Cups, it's all about the next step. Uh could also be, you know, we're starting to get closer and closer and you can see interestingly this character in the Eight of Cups is edging closer and closer heading towards the moon and that's actually what's happening. We have the full moon in Scorpio that's coming in on the around the 27th and depending on where you are in the world and so it, we're kind of edging closer to that and that's a really, really powerful powerful full moon that is going to ask us to go quite deep and let something go um, quite so this is this is the start of it but these guys are coming and going well we're not letting you walk into the abyss into the unknown into that deep energy of it's a Scorpio full moon by yourself we're coming in with you to make sure this is going to be successful so it really is you know if we look at the page of wands here it is a sense that uh, there is like a whole heap of ideas being generated. It is a sense of excitement around something. Uh, there's potential growth, but it's like it hasn't either, you have only just starting it or it hasn't started yet. So this, uh, it's very much like saying, how are you going to start? When are you going to start? Uh, looking at the very first step, like I said, and they're kind of saying the very first step is to this Eight of Cups is there's been something missing, uh, something that has not been, uh, in terms of your fulfilment, something that hasn't been fulfilling you. So uh, the first step may be to walk away from something, detach from something that's unfulfilling and let something go. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily mean that you are no longer with that person or in that situation. It can be detaching from an expectation, detaching from an energy. So you're still there, but you're no longer attached to the energy or attached to an expectation that was not creating fulfillment. It can, for some of you, mean like letting go of something. Uh, you know, you've got too much on your plate with this Seven of Cups, something needs to be let go of because really you're focusing on this main thing. So it is a process of focus, but it's very much saying, okay, first steps, let's do it, let's go. How are we going to make this happen? And that is very much, it is an 
and there's a lot of really, really positive energy here. It's, it's a day of action. You know, it's a day of wanting to take action or at least, uh, you know, setting that goal or planning or making a decision to start uh, and it can be starting for some of you. So it is very much a masculine energy. Energy. It's an out there energy. It's what are we doing, whereas yesterday was kind of more of an internal energy, more feminine energy. So it's really kind of bouncing, kind of nicely flowing between the two, but it can feel a little bit like, okay, here now the push. Now here comes the push as my light just went out. So I'm going to leave the reading and thank you so much for joining me. Really, really positive day. Uh, like I said, that whatever you've been working on in that Aries energy, really grounding in today. How is this going to make money? How is this going to be successful? Fantastic energy. So thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.